Well, hello, everybody. Um, welcome back uh, to um, our U-Boat uh, 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 episodes. Uh, this is Dendris. Um, I'm an ex-submariner, um, qualified on submarines, and uh, this is episode five. Um, so we're gonna, going to... Uh, uh, get our uh, uh, patrol area, our mission, and uh, all our stores are loaded, the submarine's ready to go, our, our men are back from their vacation, and uh, we did, uh, while the men were on vacation, the, um, the boat was upgraded with uh, 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 better accumulators, uh, the air uh, air ventilation system and so uh, let's uh, let's go to the, to the uh, u-boat leader here and uh, get our mission so we're gonna probably do the uh, uh, the bear island beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet gute Arbeit Dies sind die heutigen Aufträge vom BDU. Streng geheim. Yeah, so the so we last episode we finished uh, the first part of the Tunnage War. Um, now it's uh, I guess you'd call it Tier Two, right? Or or the one hundred thousand uh, uh, GRT is it what gross rated ton? I don't know. It's uh, so, so 100,000 tons uh, is what they want us to sink. Um, but we're going to uh, we're going to do the bear, the weather station on Bear Island. Uh, get that taken care of, um, and uh, it's nice to be able to. Uh, uh, do different uh, types of missions. Uh, it's one of the fun things about the game. You're just not going out sinking uh, merchants. You're also doing other other uh, things like uh, uh, the royal, you know, attacking, you know, the scapa flow of the royal oak and or mine laying. So we're going to do the weather station um, and uh, get that taken care of. And I think I have to uh, open up a space. I think I uh, filled up. Uh, uh, so I need to open up a space for the uh, weather station. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then, uh, uh, so in fact, why don't I, I'm going to go back and uh, then we'll choose this and we'll go on away. But we're going to choose weather station. So let me clear this out, uh, make space for it, and then uh, we'll get on our way.
setzen Sie diese Station. auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Zu Befehl. Bestätigt. Puh, so müde. Melde mich zum Dienst. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Okay, um, so pretty uneventful trip, um, obviously. Um, we are in uh, 
uh, either in the Arctic Circle or pretty close to the Arctic Circle uh, at uh, Bear Island. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at the map to see uh, it's actually within within the uh, Arctic Circle. Um, but uh, we've 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 reached our destination. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up a uh, uh, weather station um, and uh, get that going and uh, see what happens. Definitely need a radio man. Um, Go ahead and get him going. Uh, give him a helmet. Uh, maybe have uh, one of our leaders. And then Maybe our, uh, maybe our, uh, engineer too, and he'll carry the, uh, uh, needs, needs the, uh, hold on a second. We're, we're we need, uh, nod here. Where are you? needs to get his uh he needs to get the gear there you go okay. now we can get these guys going There we go. Okay, so we're going to uh, get ready to send some groups over there. Uh, come in, get that radio station set up here. So let's let's go. Give him a weapon there, just in case. Nod. Okay, got his helmet all ready. He's ready to go. And then Schuster, our radio man. I'll go ahead and remove that item. I think they need to have a, a space for the uh, weather station. And as much help as they can get, right? So let's go.
Now we're going to uh, Scouting. While they scout, uh, we're going to just uh, um, stand up, stand up. yeah, we're going to reverse out and uh, just in case uh, any patrols come, and then we can come back to uh, pick them up. Course that's All right, so we're uh, we're kind of headed away, um, just in case uh, um, something happens. Uh, any uh, escorts in the area? What I might do? Just get a little, little bit of a distance away, then stop, and uh, we'll go ahead and go to periscope depth. Just in case. I'll see what you begin. So while we wait, we're going to be uh, waiting at periscope depth, um, letting them do their thing, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, and then. Uh, hopefully, uh, everything goes all right. Um, it's been a while since I've done this, uh, so I, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be an escort coming around or, or something coming around to investigate. So we'll we'll uh, we'll get ready to go and uh, make sure we stay quiet. All right, we're almost done scouting. Um, looking for that location to deploy the weather station. Um, we should be done in a minute now. All right, uh, so let's uh, start building the weather station, get that taken care of. Um, so far, we haven't had any uh, 
uh, any sightings. Okay, so uh, he did uh, at a destroyer somewhere. Um, ah, yes, okay. So uh, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, they'll uh, they won't bother us. Uh, but let's uh, maybe get out of their way. Tauchen auf 50 Meter. Tauchen auf 50 Meter. Feindlicher Zerstörer auf 10 Uhr. Auf Seerohrtiefe gehen. 20 Meter. Seerohrtiefe. Okay, um, our, we were able to evade um, the warships, so we basically just, uh, not really evade, but we, we just sat on the bottom of the, uh, of the ocean there, all uh, silent running, quiet as we could be, turned everything off. Uh, they just drove right past us. They just drove right past us, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get our men back on board. Uh, and uh, let's uh, go ahead and get out of get out of Dodge here. We're going to try to sneak away Sneak away from the position and then uh, see how that goes. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Bestätigt. Kurs auf Alarm abgebrochen. Ei, ei, Hacker Leute. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Bestätigt. Wechseln auf Dieselmotor. All right, so um, that was uh, 
weather station uh, Bear Island. Uh, we set up our radio, our weather station. Um, it's pretty uneventful. Um, I was uh, stressing out there for a sec there because I couldn't remember um, what I needed to do to, to make sure that uh, I didn't get caught. But uh, seemed like uh, just sitting on the bottom of the uh, of the sea there, um, shallow. Uh, we were able to uh, uh, evade the uh, destroyers. Um, uh, so that was uh, so that's a good deal. All right. So this uh, this is probably going to be a short episode. Um, we'll see. Um, I can catch any merchants on the way back that'd be great uh, and uh, so um, because it's a short episode maybe uh, maybe we'll talk about uh, uh, some of the systems on on board the ship um, copy team So, go ahead and, and talk about some of the systems on board the ship. Uh, actually, we're going to maybe talk about the air systems. Because um, uh, air is probably one of the most important uh, 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 systems in the, on the boat. Um, right? It... it uh, need the air to blow out the main ballast tanks to surface the boat. Um, air uh, is needed for the hydraulic system, right? Uh, uh, in the air accumulation flask, uh, which I'm not sure where that, where the air accumulation flask is for the hydraulic system. I'm not sure if this is the hydraulic system or not. Uh, go ahead and turn on the gyroscope here we were silent running so and we're going to go ahead and and switch to uh we'll go ahead and switch to uh the night lights the red lights all right so in case you haven't noticed already um there are a lot of valves on board submarines uh, a lot of those valves are for the air pressure systems. So you have uh, different uh, types of air pressure systems, right? You have high pressure air. Uh, high pressure air uh, is used to uh, blow the main ballast tanks. Um, it is also used to uh, launch the torpedoes. If you didn't know, torpedoes are launched uh, by air pressure. They don't just uh, swim out say right um it now i u-boats I, I i don't know if uh uh I, i'm pretty sure that the, the tor torpedoes are launched by air you, you, in fact yeah in fact uh when we do uh launch torpedoes you'll notice that uh, your air will, will decrease so i'm sorry yeah torpedoes are launched uh, in, in u-boats by air um and submarines do that right and uh, that's uh, high pressure air. So um, I don't remember what the uh, pressure is for high pressure. What the uh, what they consider high pressure? Uh, somebody is probably going to correct me. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's, I think it's probably uh, 150 pounds per square inch uh, psi uh, greater, but I'm not really sure. It could be 250. I don't know. Um, and I apologize for that. So, so when we're looking at uh, the main ballast tanks, um, they're somewhere in the for the pressure, not the high pressure in the main ballast tanks when you're pushing the air out. That's probably around 600 psi. Um, at least uh, that's what I what I've read uh, from uh, historical. Uh, 
uh, at least for US subs. I, I don't I haven't seen anything for uh, 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 U-boats, um, but I'm pretty sure it's probably around the same amount. Uh, the, uh, according to the the, the uh, World War II historical, uh, some of the stuff I've seen for uh, U.S. boats, um, the high pressure for uh, uh, the impulse for the torpedo launch is it's like something like 3,000 pounds psi, something like that. Um, it seems like a lot, um, but. And so, and you need uh, uh, high pressure to uh, start the diesels. In case you didn't know, um, diesels are started by high pressure air. Um, so, uh, High pressure air runs the main ballast tank, uh, torpedoes, um, and uh, torpedo launch system, and uh, uh, diesels. All right, and then you have uh, your low pressure uh, system. So um, the lower pressure system, uh, you know. Uh, is for doing various, uh, uh, might be for the hydraulic system, also for uh, uh, certain valves that, uh, that uh, flapper valves or valves that uh, uh, need to be operated uh, uh, by air. And uh, part of getting uh, qualified is, is learning which valves operate the uh, which air systems, right? So you need to know those things, uh, getting qualified. Uh, here, we have the uh, main ballast tank, uh, uh, what they call, what, the Christmas tree, I think. Um, so I don't know if that's the Christmas tree, if they consider that the Christmas tree with the lights, or, or if they consider this a Christmas tree. But these are the valves. These are the indications for the valves, um, I think. So here we go. We got we got the main ballast tank valve, um, and then and then you have your various uh, ballast tanks, right? So you might have ballast tank five, uh, and usually um, you'll have say your your even on one side and your odd tanks on the other, right? So you have you know uh, maybe ballast tank the first one. Um, Main ballot takes one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, something like that, right? And we have, um, uh, this is likely to be, I'm going to say it's going to be another, uh, it's probably low pressure. So it's probably the low pressure system there. Um, I don't know. Um, kind of wonder what uh, kind of wonder uh, what uh, each valve is for. Um, let me think here. And let me see. Bear with me. Uh, anyways. Anyways, so uh, anyway, so it's probably this is probably low pressure air systems. This is for 
various valves and uh, need operation hydraulic systems. Uh, uh, this might be high pressure air, um, but I'm not positive about that. Um, I know this is the main ballast tank pressure system, right? And so in order to get your high pressure air, you need to have a compressor. And so if we go back, back of the boat here, back of the boat, we have our air compressor system. We have diesel air compressor. And we have a electrical air compressor. Uh, it's, the importance of air is you need to have a backup, right? Uh, you want to be able to, uh, you want to get back on the boat, I'm mean, sorry, if you want to get back on the surface, you need to be able to uh, get that air. Uh, you know, to uh, pressurize the ballast, pressurize the ballast tanks, and get that going. Um, in order to raise the periscope, it's part of the hydraulics, so you need uh, air pressure to operate the hydraulics. And so, in order to uh, raise and lower the telescope, or <laughs> telescope, the periscope needs hydraulics. Um, your uh, your uh, dive planes uh, operate by hydraulics. They need uh, high pressure air, or sorry, not high pressure, but they need uh, uh, low, I think low pressure air for the hydraulics. And uh, uh, I'm these can be operated manually, I believe is what it says. Um, but uh, when when they say manually. Um, so I believe it's still hydraulics. Um, if it's electric, if it runs on electric, uh, what it is is you have a little electric uh, 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 help with 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 operating it. it. Makes it a little easier to operate the the planes, right? So you're still using hydraulics even though it's manual. Um, it just with the electric it helps out there so uh the hydraulics uh system obviously uh is another important system on board but it needs air so um basically uh, uh without air you, you uh you're stuck you you uh are basically I'd say a dead submarine, just about, right? I mean, you you, you need air to operate. Um, one of the things that uh, they teach you when you get qualified um, is is knowing which which of the piping is uh, high pressure or low pressure air, being able to recognize that, uh, because uh, high pressure air. Uh, if if there's a damage to say a high pressure air airline, um, it's extremely dangerous, very loud. I don't know if you guys have ever had uh, uh, been around uh, like air compressors or, or, or air blowers. Um, they are are extremely loud, and the high pressure air is is extremely loud. Um, it will it will hurt your your eardrums. Um, not only that, but it's extremely dangerous. It, the high pressure air, uh, if it's punctured, um, it can it can cut you in half. Uh, but it also uh, can be uh, uh, it can cause fires, right? Um, so if there's uh, if there's a um, an atom if there's any uh, atomization uh, uh, of any. Uh, uh, oil or whatever in, in the system, um, it, it, it will atomize and it, it, can, uh, it, can, it can create fires. And one of the biggest fears on submarines is fires, because uh, uh, if, you, uh, if, if you know your physics, um, uh, uh, even, even chemistry, uh, you know, you have temperature 
and uh, affects your pressure, right? And this is a closed system, so if you're if you're underwater and uh, uh, if you're underwater and and you're a closed submarine, like all your if if your hatches are closed, if you're submerged and there's a fire, it can quickly suck out not just the oxygen but its uh, heat. Uh, it can get it can heat up the place very fast. Um, you know, with you know, within minutes, uh, it can be uh, unbearable temperature or deadly temperature. I mean, it it'll uh, very dangerous. Um, obviously, it, it takes up oxygen, but also, uh, um, it, you know, it's it's it uh, uh, it's probably one of the most dangerous things that can happen besides flooding is uh, having a fire. Uh, on part of some rain. I don't believe they model fires uh, when they get damaged uh, for this game. Uh, it's kind of sad because they do happen, uh, especially during uh, death charges. Um, things break, things explode. Um, and there are a lot of explosive things uh, on board some rain. Fires, uh, fires can and do happen, um, and you train when you're when you're getting qualified on the submarines. When you're actually uh, when you, you you do regular drills, you do regular fire drills on board submarines. So you uh, you might be uh, standing to watch, um, going through the compartments, taking your readings. You go through the different. Uh, uh, Writing down uh, the, uh, the gauge numbers and all that, and uh, checking for leaks, or you know, just just uh, running your running your watch, going through your watch, um, uh, blow decks watch, and uh, you know, you you uh, you might have to call out a fire uh, for part of the drill. And, Stuff, but uh, I'm I'm digressing from from the air pressure system. But, uh, hopefully, you guys get the picture. Picture uh, uh, here are probably I believe these are probably the tanks uh, for the air pressure system. Um, it doesn't say uh, so that that looks like low, that's, that's low pressure. Uh, there are low pressure and high pressure tanks. Um, there are low-pressure tanks that help the high-pressure system. Uh, so, but uh, I wish I wish I could give you more insight. Uh, we might do that later. Um, I did see a diagram uh, with a very similar-looking uh, uh, tree there for the valves, uh, but that's pretty in-depth, uh, uh, in-depth look at uh, at these valves, and they don't operate on this game, right? You. Basically, you just you click here and it floods the floods the tanks, or 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 it uh, pressurizes the tanks. Um, but uh, there's lots of information on uh, on the internet. Uh, if you guys have questions, um, I'm not. It's been a while since I've done. Uh, you know, I, I've been a while since I've qualified, uh, and of course, uh, I'm not qualified on a on a U-boat, um, but I have a basic idea of, of what's going on. But if anybody uh, wants to correct me or give some insights or, or, or add something to add, uh, please, you're welcome to, uh, you know, I, I do appreciate constructive criticism. Um, I, you know, it's, uh, I try to try to be a lifelong learner, you know, I, I, I'm always interested in learning new things. But if uh, you guys uh, appreciate uh, uh, information, if you guys appreciate uh, the game and, and these videos, uh, please uh, feel free to give me a like, um, give me a comment, uh, you know, say hello. But uh, thanks a lot uh, for watching, and uh, we'll go ahead and continue our patrol and. Uh, 
see if uh, see if we run into anything along the way back to port. Um, so one of the things uh, I didn't, I don't know if I uh, uh, talked about, it's kind of hard to see uh, unless you're port, um, but you see these bulges along the side of the submarine, you have some bulges here, and you have another bulge on the other, on the other side. So they hold, they are also um, part of the ballast trim system, right? And so when you're underwater, um, you, the, the, uh, the diving officer will uh, make changes, will, will blow or, or, or fill these, these ballast tanks, um, including the main ballast tank in the front and the main ballast tank Ink in the back of the boat, right? The stern, and uh, they'll they'll uh, affect the trim of the boat. So, so when you're when you're diving, when you're going down, um, submerged, uh, you may need to trim the boat. Um, gives a little bit uh, the measure of control uh, over how uh, how your dive is, right? If you uh, your, the angle of your dive, um, if there's damage to the boat, uh, you may need to trim the boat to make sure it stays at a level, level depth. Um, these are also, uh, uh, um, these are also uh, uh, tanks that have uh, fuel in them, right? Uh, so I'm not sure which ones have the fuel and which ones are just filled uh, with seawater. Honestly, uh, but again, you use your your air pressure system to to uh, trim the boat. You use use the air pressure to either uh, pump out the air, uh, blow out the air rather, or 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 uh, and open the valves too. Right? Um, the valves are probably manual, but uh, they might have some uh, manic valves. I'm not sure. Just wanted to point that out uh, in case uh, in case you didn't know about these these tanks on the side these saddle tanks. Um, so they do add, they do have fuel or uh, they do they are used for to trim the boat. Let's uh, let's continue our patrol here. Kurs an. Schneller, schneller! Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen.
Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Legen Sie den Kurs an. Sehr wohl, Herr Kalloy. Tauchen auf 50 Meter! Wechseln auf E-Motor! Tanks anlassen! Wechseln auf Dieselmotor! Sehr wohl, Herr Kalloy. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Sehr wohl, Herr Kalloy. Kurs setzen. Sehr wohl, Herr Kalloy. Well, um, thank you everybody for uh, watching this short episode. Um, we did talk a little bit about uh, air pressure systems uh, on on the boats, uh, on the submarines. 
Um, uh, so, uh, if you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to to uh, leave a comment. Um, I will try to uh, answer them as best I can. I'm not a I'm not an expert on U-boats, um, and I it's been a while since I've been qualified. So, uh, you know, I, I do uh, I'm not uh, I'm not a know-it-all, I guess. But I do, uh, I will, I do try to uh, give you a general overview of uh, um, how submarines work. Uh, again, uh, high, uh, air pressure systems are very important uh, on submarines. But uh, if you like the video, um, please leave a like. Uh, uh, it's, uh, I enjoy making them. Uh, as I've said before, these are this is a it's a fun game. Uh, I do enjoy the uh, 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 U-boat game. Um, I I do enjoy the playing the different series. Um, I have played other uh, similar games. Um, but we're back in Wilhelmshaven, uh, and. Uh, uh, after our, we, it took us about uh, two weeks in game to uh, go back and forth uh, to the weather station. We've de deployed our weather station, uh, so that should help us a little bit. Uh, but uh, guys, uh, have a wonderful day um, or evening. Uh, take care, and uh, I hope to see you. Uh, Come back again and uh, watch more videos. Uh, I think next time we're going to be doing uh, uh, probably uh, the tonnage war. Um, I like to kind of mix it up a bit. Um, that way things don't get too too boring, you know, doing the same thing over and over again. So I will be trying to mix it up. Um, I will try probably to do another. Uh, 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 I might do a. a episode uh, in the future uh, either a scapa flow or one of the uh, uh, mine laying missions or, or something something like that um, mine laying is pretty much like the weather stations uh, pretty uneventful uh, so they can be like short videos um, but take care and uh, hope to see you guys next time